Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the exterior angle property of a triangle. Now we already know about the two properties of a triangle. First, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Here in the triangle ABC, if we add all the angles, that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C, then their sum would be equal to 180 degrees. This is also known as the angle sum property of the triangles. Second property, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. Here in the triangle ABC, the longest side is AC, but even AC is smaller than the sum of the other two sides that is AB plus BC. All the angles which we were talking about till now were the internal angles of a triangle. Here we have a triangle ABC and if we extend any side of the triangle we get an exterior angle that is angle which is situated outside the closed figure which is a triangle here. For example if we extend AB till the point D, then we have an exterior angle, angle C, B, D. And you know there is a relation between such exterior angles and the interior angles. Let us see. Now we make two more triangles which are identical to triangle ABC. Now we try to fit the interior angles say angle A and angle C of these two triangles into the exterior angle CBD of the first triangle. Look what do we see? The exterior angle is the sum of the two interior angles of triangle ABC. So the exterior angle CBD is equal to the sum of the interior angles ACB that is angle C plus angle CAB which is angle A. If we observe carefully the interior angles angle A and angle C are the opposite angles to the exterior angle CBD. So we can say the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles in a triangle. You know, we can prove this another way. Let's draw a line at B which is parallel to AC. Now, AC is parallel to BE. Talking about the parallel lines, you must be knowing when two parallel lines are intersected by a traversal, then the alternate angles are equal. Similarly, this is another pair of alternate angles, hence they are equal. We also know the pair of corresponding angles are also equal when the two parallel lines are intersected by a traversal. This is another pair of corresponding angles and hence they are equal. Coming back to our problem, AC is parallel to BE and BC is a traversal intersecting both the parallel lines. So, as we saw, both the alternate angles and the corresponding angles should be equal. So, here angle ACB is equal to angle CBE. Why? Because they are alternate angles. Again, AD is also a traversal intersecting the two parallel lines AC and BE. So, the corresponding angle should also be equal. Here, angle CAB is equal to angle DBE. Why? Because they are corresponding angles. So now, 
we can say angle ACB plus angle CAB is equal to angle CBE plus angle DBE. Now angle CBE and angle DBE together make the exterior angle CBD. So we can say the exterior angle CBD is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. So remember children, any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles and this is known as the exterior angle property of a triangle. Here in the triangle ABC, angle CBD is an exterior angle and hence angle CBD is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles which are angle CAB which is angle A and angle ACB which is angle C. You know this also means the exterior angle of a triangle is greater than either of the interior opposite angles. In triangle ABC angle CBD is an exterior angle and hence angle CBD is greater than the interior opposite angle angle CAB which is angle A. Same way the exterior angle CBD is also greater than the interior opposite angle ACB which is angle C. That's all for now. Bye bye children.